ready okay so now i am going to start my vlogs in like a complete order of vlogs vlogs in a complete order um from week to week since i decided decided to start it um recording this process so um this is my currently in my 16th week but i did want to talk about my 15 and my 16 weeks together because um i'll be turning 17 weeks on saturday so um then i'll make a vlog about that next week and so on and so forth this week i have been um i actually well last week we had father's day and um i don't know we had some other things oh, i was recovering from returning back from virginia we went on a family vacation so that was um it was just a lot for me to recover from so i was um i was trying to get the back on business and doing all my business stuff and that was kind of hard on my body last week so i kind of crashed this week um because i worked my butt off with the kids and with stetson because i want i want the kids to have fun on the summer regardless if i'm pregnant or not because you know we're gonna have fun we're doing this thing and i wanted to make sure he had a good father's day last week so we are um we we did all of that and that made me super super tired so this week my 16th week i have been recovering from that but still trying to you know get it get her done um physical health last week and this week i feel way more energized than i did in my first trimester um i feel almost normal not completely normal like regular adrian who can stay up all night and wake up in the morning early not necessarily her who could do that every day but definitely i can stay up during the day <laughs> and i feel like lord why am i so tired i haven't even done anything nothing like that so um definitely way 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 better i'm starting a few new projects so i need um energy to get those done um so i uh, i feel way better with that i don't feel nauseous i did end up having a uti um that i've been trying to get rid of naturally because i really don't want to take antibiotics because i don't like taking fake things especially when i'm pregnant i call those things fake because they're not like growing from the ground i know i'm so weird to all the people that are just like take the antibiotics I'm like i know but i just would rather drink cranberry juice but it's so nasty God. Anyway, so um, I've been drinking my water, trying to drown the cranberry juice, the UTI in the cranberry juice, but it's been a struggle. Stetson tasted it, and he was like, I don't know what, I thought he didn't like my food, like he didn't like the cooking or something. He was like, oh my God, it's so nasty, <laughs> so much drama. I was rolling. I When I found out what he was really like talking about. I don't know. That's why he should stop drinking my stuff. It's all he ever does. Anyways. Um, so, yes. Um, I've been trying to get rid of that. Which is a normal thing. My midwife explained that your stuff is like getting all cramped in there. And the urethra. urethra I don't know you guys. Um, but, anyways. Little tube. Where your urine is like supposed to be coming out or whatever. It gets kind of kinked. And you have to like constantly flush it. or Because it's not flushing itself well. So that's why you drink more water when you're pregnant or you end up with a UTI. So it's easier because it's like all squished together. And I was like, oh, okay. So more, more um, water for me. I got me a bubble cake and I'm good. Um, so yes. Um, yes, I have my UTI and I'm feeling better um, physically. I'm going to have to skip this part out. But yes, yeah, so I'm definitely doing better than the first trimester. Completely better um, physically. I have been having like, um, my blood is like weird. Or it's like, I don't know what's happening. But I do get like, my, my, my legs will go to sleep or my hand will go to sleep like super fast. Like my arm, like if I just lay on it for a second, it's just like, I have no blood like in five seconds. I'm like, what is happening? But anyway, so that has, that's been a symptom. Also, me just um, not being able to lay on my pillows anymore. They're too fluffy. So, uh, that's never been an issue for me. But I've had to put something, another, a decorative pillow under it, but it's too hard and it makes my, it's just me like, I need to get a pregnancy pillow. 
I haven't this these last three pregnancies I've been being cheap but this time I might have to because it makes me have headaches so anyways um I've had that that I've been dealing with but that was it and um emotionally emotionally I have been very like just emotionally crying about just things <laughs> like I was crying about Jay-Z and Beyonce's song because I was like this is me and Stetson and I cried every time I heard it until I got used to it it's just silly <laughs> so silly but uh that's been my emotional thing but I've been you know it hasn't I haven't been sad I just been like super like oh I love this you know look at that puppy it's so cute <laughs> like that type of thing so yes um that's been these last couple of weeks which have definitely been better than first trimester so glad we're over the shock hump the I'm sorry. so glad we're over the shock hump the weird feelings the tiredness and we're like cruising right now so i will be finding out what the baby is in a couple weeks so uh, i'll be having a gender reveal so i won't be telling it until then I should do a video of my gender reveal. That would be so fun. Okay, but anyways, you guys, see you next week when I'm week 17.